Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. We are watching Fundamental of Cyber Security. Earlier we had seen this domain name system. Just small things we had seen. What is it? What is the need? And uh, what are the namespace? Uh, another thing is uh, this hierarchical namespace and the uh, this whole table. And then we are, we are actually seeing this TLDs. The important part is that why exactly we need this, this so-called TLD, top-level domain. So there might be a possibility that if there is a website such as a, a Google, then if you observe that this organization is not like a, uh, it, so it sits uh, it sits in the US only, it, it sits in every location, okay? So it, it is country-based uh, website. So uh, there is a chance that this organization has uh, a name, a domain name like this, google.au, uh, and there is a chance that you are having a website such as google.in, all right? So the same way Amazon, Amazon is the best example I can give you. So you had seen that there is something called as amazon.com, which is the root website, and which is generic uh, top level domain. Uh, and there is something called as Amazon.in, which is Indian uh, part of Amazon. So you have seen this, right? So that's why we need some TLDs here, top level domains. Now let's understand some more things inside this DNS. Uh, distribution of namespace comes after all this simple and fundamental thing. The question is here that, sir, we have, we have DNS now. We understood DNS. But the question is, sir, where exactly we can store this huge number of mapping? So the question is storage. The question is storage. Where to store? Let me just uh, zoom it a little. Zooming is very hard here. And storage is uh, where to save? Okay, so the question is where to save? And the simple thing is, the first uh, answer we can get it is like, uh, sir, we can store it on our local machine, just like host.txt on a machine, on a computer like, right, on a computer. Machine, it means nothing but a computer. And I can put this whole DNS in a computer. Now, this is not a good idea, sir. This is not a good idea. Why it is not a good idea? Because you see, it's a huge information. It's a huge information that you are putting on a computer. So there is a problem when you are requesting something and you will not get a response because computer cannot handle that much of load. Okay, there's a problem of load balancing comes up. So it cannot take the load of request and reply from around all the world, I mean all around the world, going to be a problem, right? So a better solution for this is we can store, so this is not going to work, but we can, we can store this huge information on a distributed system, this way it is going to work. This is going to be distributed on a distributed system. Definitely this is going to be a computer, but large number of computers is going to help you here, right? So this is not going to be a uh, thing that we can store this huge information in computer, we can store in distributed system. And this distributed, distributed system, we call it as DNS servers, right? So you almost you had uh, heard about this term, many a times, like zillion of times in your lifetime, DNS servers. So these are distributed system where we are storing the huge information on different, different computers all around the world, separated by geographic location. We call it as DNS servers, right? So I hope this is understandable. So now what will happen? So if uh, this is a so-called uh, uh, world, <laughs> I do not know my drawing, but this is a world. And uh, you know, this th th these are DNS servers. So if these are DNS servers all around the world. Uh, I do not know how to draw it, but uh, so these are DNS. Uh, okay, so these are these are DNS. So what will happen that if one DNS is communicating with another DNS, if this DNS are communicating, then you see that this connection is basically a TCP connection. Remember. When our DNS is communicating with another DNS, then that connection is going to be a TCP connection. However, when a person, okay, when a person is requesting something from DNS, maybe a website or something like that, when a person is communicating, so when a person is communicating with this DNS 
minus server disk. This connection is basically in the UDP format. Why? Because it is fast in nature compared to TCP. TCP will make like connection establishment and all three-way handshake. But UDP is not going to do that, right? So it just uh, needs a request. It will directly give you the response. So it's very fast. Not reliable, but that's okay. I mean, you do not have to give the, uh, every time you do not have to give the uh, response, like a reliable response. You can give an unreliable response. Uh, that is okay, but delay is not going to be accepted by the user. So that's why I am implementing UDP when a user is communicating with a DNS and while DNS is communicating with another DNS, I have a TCP connection. That is very important to know. I hope uh, this is understandable. Uh, there is one thing, something called a zones, if you had uh, heard about zones. So let me also draw some uh, few aspects on zones. What exactly is zones? So zone is, uh, is uh, basically, um, how can I explain you? So a server who is responsible and having some authoritative information uh, in, which, in, which, in which region he is working is called a zone. So if I have this complete uh, circle, uh, I don't like this kind of thing here. So I need a very uh, left and right. This is okay. Now, if this whole thing is 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 a shape, then uh, I could say that uh, this is a node here. This this could be a DNS server. So this is a node here. This could be a node here. Maybe this. this. So uh, the, these are connected, by the way. And I can connect this with DNS. This is a, as I told you that this is a hierarchical namespace. So this is a hierarchy, and uh, this is connected to another uh, another. Shape here, and uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just taking too much time here, but bear with me for a while. Yeah, this is again a shape. This is, this could be a root domain here. This is top level domain, so this is there. This could be an org or adu. Uh, this could be uh, like dot com and so on. And uh, this is internet, by the way. This is internet. And uh, these are having some 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 zones, not a zone, but uh, just a just an area here. And this whole thing is, let's say, this is a Google. Okay, this is a Google. This whole thing is for Google. So uh, this could be the Google FTP here. It sits here. Maybe this is a Google Server uh, two. This is a Google Server one. Then uh, this could be a development uh, server. Uh, maybe this could be a mic. This could be a Google. One. Then I can say that this whole thing is a zone. Okay. Uh, I cannot say this one, but this is a domain. So let me say this is a domain because this whole thing is. Uh, so you see that uh, when uh, when when this when this node is working on some some area, then that area is called as zone here. A server, so this is a server basically, a server is responsible for some authoritative answer or for a request, then that area is known to be as zone here. So this, this is basically a zone. So uh, th this server, you see another important thing here, this, this server, this is a server by the way, uh, it is having a database, right? You already know that uh, DNS servers are nothing but they are databases. Uh, database file, uh, which we also called as zone file, and it keeps all the information, information about mapping and all, information about uh, mapping and other information. So it is like, you know, every server is not going to hold that information. It is not going to be like that, that this database server or this uh, DNS server is going to hold this information, this mapping information for uh, life lifelong. This is not going to be like that. This information is going to be shifted or transferred or forward from one DNS server to the another DNS server, right? So this whole thing is basically a DNS server itself, no problem, you can understand it. So I can, I can read it like this, this is like ftp.google com so I, I can read it like this so you see that this information is not stored in 
in this server we need to move it okay so we, we need to uh, transfer it to subdomains or to other domain or higher level domains and when you transfer something from one dns server to the another dns server uh, we, uh, we 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 call that something called a zone transfer right so we we do that so basically you see that uh, this this could be a primary dns server so let's say this is a master here and this could be a secondary dns server i can say so this could be a slave so there is again a master and slave thing comes up let me just uh, go ahead and resize a little here so this is a master and slave i'm playing here so we call master as a primary dns server we call it as primary dns server and uh, this slave is going to be known as secondary dns server all right so we have two dns server in general uh, in any of the things so uh, so this is dns server right secondary dns server so this uh, primary dns server is the master and it holds all the primary information i mean most important information it holds holds most important information just understand it and this is authoritative yeah, authoritative information by the way okay, so this is an authoritative information uh, and this primary dns server has a read and write permission i hope uh, you know that uh, that this is a read and write uh, permission as this is a primary uh, server all right uh, and sometimes as i told you that uh, all information all authoritative information is not going to be there in the primary dns server sometimes this information has to transfer to the secondary dns server in case this primary dns server get crash get crash okay so in case primary dns get crash we need to transfer we need to transfer and when i say transfer it is nothing but zone transfer right so this is going to lead to an important topic of zone transfer by the way when you are doing zone transfer to the secondary dns server remember that this dns server has a read only property having a read only permission okay so you cannot create anything or update anything or any record in the secondary dns server this is uh, not going to work so this is about a secondary and uh, uh, primary server sometimes this instead of uh, crash it could be an attack here any attack can come so like any ddos attack there might be a chance that this happens okay so we need to do something like that so uh, i am i am calling here some information i am calling so many information here like these most crucial information most important information what about this sir what information next question what information you are talking about so these information are known as uh, this information is known as what do you call these are like record types i can say okay, we call it as dns record type this is the information which is there in the dns record type so this information i'm talking about if any attacker can get this dns record type i mean the information information inside the record type then uh, you, you see that it is going to be very important information for an attacker he going to uh, you know use this information to uh, to manipulate your computer or manipulate your network resources right uh, so uh, so we gonna we we gonna understand this record type. So let's understand some of the record types. I'm not gonna give all the record types, but uh, what I know I can give. So the first record type, let me make a here. It is known as SOA, and uh, this SOA is is known as start of authority. And start of authority it means uh, you know the transfer. Uh, so as I told you that there is a zone transfer. It's something like a uh, uh, it is giving you parameters for the zone so when this uh, information is going to be transferred from one dns server to another dns server it gives you the it gives you the time b so at what time or 
to which time this information is going to be hold by that DNS server is going to be a start of authority here. All right. The second record type is going to be A, and A gives you the IP address of a host. IP address of maybe I can take some space here. IP address of host. The second record, sorry, the third record type uh, there could be a MX, and uh, MX stands for mail server. If you are having any, if the organization has any mail server. Then you see that is going to be very important information for me. Then uh, there could be a C name, which is known as a canonical name. It is an aliases. Okay, so it's a it's a name server. A name server are known as canonical name. Sorry, it's not name server. I'm so sorry. I had. I did not see that this is NS. This is canonical name. I'm so sorry. There is E known as NS. Okay, this is name server. This is name server is basically the uh, domain name, yeah, the google.com and likewise. There is also a file, txt could, could be there if, 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 it, if this DNS server handles some uh, ASCII text. Yeah. If you can find this, and there are so many, right? Um, it's, uh, there could be a PTR, which is a pointer here. You can get grab this information from the internet. A pointer is a, it's an aliases of IP address. So I'm gonna write here aliases for. And there are so many other record type information. You can uh, get all these DNS. Uh, record types from internet there are so many right so we are interested uh, in this uh, so called uh, what we call this this record type information we want to grab this information from somehow and uh, we can grab this information uh, most of the time we are using uh, one uh, network dns utility tool known as ns lookup you see with the help of ns lookup not only ns lookup there are so many they have tag and all ns lookup NS lookup will see this record type. It will use as an information gathering. Information gathering of DNS. All right. So with the help of NS lookup, you can grab uh, so many uh, uh, DNS information. So this is the thing that we had seen in this session. I hope uh, you like it. If you like it, please hit that like button and uh, share my video and if you are new to my channel then please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys and i will see you in the next session